Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Disney is apparently banning Uncle Scrooge. Banning Uncle Scrooge stories. I'm surprised they didn't do it sooner. Uh, I am as well. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this because I actually worked on the Scrooge McDuck stories for Fanagraphics and we worked on Disney comics for years before that. And Disney is prone to censoring comic book, problematic comic book content. Uh, in fact, I, I spent time redrawing panels of some Disney comics. I think I've mentioned it on here before, uh, taking guns out of panels, taking uh, cigars out of panels, mm -hmm. and then what was left looked absolutely ridiculous, but that's Disney and that's their standards and practices, and it does change from year to year. The standards and practices that censored an episode of Bluey because it had a fart joke. Yes. And they had to walk that back because people were like, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, and asked, uh, ask uh, Alex Hirsch how standards and practices work. So we're gonna talk about this. Gotta give a hat tip to Small Gamer Boy. I didn't know this was going on. I haven't actually worked on any Disney comics in about seven or eight years now, but uh, the last project I worked on was actually the Don Rosa Library for Fanagraphics. And um, I think I worked about halfway through it and there were some things that we had to change even then, even with it being Fanagraphics, being an adult collectible. I know gun colors had to change because we had to make the guns look like they were toys, not real guns, which, doesn't make any damn sense mm -hmm. whatsoever. But uh, I'm not surprised by this. I'm not surprised that Don Rosa is speaking out because uh, Don Rosa has a very um, uh, tense relationship with the Walt Disney Company. Uh, you know, he's not he's not a huge fan. He loves Scrooge McDuck. He loves those characters. Uh, he does not like Disney no. very much. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over uh, 293, almost 294,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we do talk about comics. We talk about Disney. We've mentioned multiple times we've worked on Disney comics for a number of years. And um, some of you are like, no, you didn't. No, you no, you didn't. Yeah. Like, here it is, guys. Here's a list of credits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it goes on and on. I don't have credit. Most of my credit. You do. I did, you do. I got, I got like two. I was uncredited for a lot of the work I did. Yeah. Unfortunately, Geeky was. Yeah, but then she, the people that came after his wife got credited for all the work she did. It was just me that wasn't allowed to be credited. Yeah, I don't, for whatever I, reason. I had to fight to get her credited. It was the weirdest thing. I, I don't know what was going on, but I said, hey, I'm not doing any more until you actually get my wife credit because she's helping with this stuff. It's like, oh, oh okay. So they credited me for like two stories. You know, I did like <laughs> right at the very end. I'm sorry. You get it's lots of fault. you get lots of credit now. Um, yeah, so let's talk about this. Coming from comic book resources, I had missed it because again, I don't really care what's going on with Disney Comics these days because I've been there, done that. But this is a thing. So uh, Disney reportedly permanently bans two Don Rosa Uncle Scrooge stories. The Disney Company has reportedly banned two of writer and artist Don Rosa's Uncle Scrooge stories from all reprints or future collections. That again. Does, isn't going to make sense now because those chapters no. were uh, you know, an integral part of the story. Right. That's what he's like. He's like, well, at this point, you can't run them anymore. But you can't run the whole thing because it's not going to make sense. Yeah. And good luck trying to get them now because so many of these books are out of print. They're out of stock. And I don't think they're going to be allowed to reprint them if that is the case because that's that's how it, you know, it comes down from on high from Disney. And they're like, yeah, you can't print this anymore. And they'll be mm -hmm. like, okay, well, whatever's out there is what's out there. According to a tweet from Duck Talk's Twitter account, Rosa received an email explaining two of his Scrooge McDuck stories, The Richest Duck in the World, which is one of the most important Scrooge stories ever, and The Dream of a Lifetime, again, another very important story, won't be republished or part of any collections moving forward. Duck Talk's a podcast that discusses the latest developments. Stemming from DuckTales, later posted The Richest Duck in the World ban may actually be for the Empire Builder from Calisota, which is oftentimes referred to as the richest duck in the world. A CBR has reached out to Disney directly for comment on the situation. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, oh my God, so this is what you got. Okay, so this is the tweet. Let's look at this. This is my first reaction to this, right? Geeky told me about it, and I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? All right, all right. Hey, this looks familiar. This looks very familiar. Why did you work on that one? I think I worked on this one, yeah. I'm pretty sure I did. All right. Uh, as part of its ongoing commitment to diversity and inclusion. <sighs> okay. The wall wait, 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 wait. Diversity, we could clarify. Commitment to diversity and inclusion, but only in America because we conveniently forget all that shit when we want to court China. 
you know, because I had to clarify. They forgot to add. I said the quiet part out loud. The Walt Disney Company is in the process of reviewing their library of stories. As a result of this, some stories that do not align with their values will no longer be published. But they're going to have a lot of shit they can't publish. They are going to have a lot of stories they can't publish. And then all the stuff that they can publish is going to be boring and it's going to suck balls. Well, I can't say that because that's, you know, that's discrimination. Suck gonads. Suck parts that we can't talk about because, you know. Fingers. There you go. That's ableist. That's the, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. This applies to two of your classic stories, The Richest Duck in the World and The Dream of a Lifetime. These stories will not be part of any reprints or new collections. I mean, that's how they handled it. That, 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 uh, you know, Don Rosa, who's beep, a, beep, basically beep. a legend. Yeah. That's how they handled it. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't call him. They just sent this. I'm like, this is a Disney company. We were, we're, about, we're about family and values. And, oh my God. you know. All right. Uh, the Richest Duck in the World is the 12th and final chapter of the life and times of Scrooge McDuck, which is one of the greatest comic book stories ever told, by the way, which means that the legendary book will no longer be printed. We highly recommend you pick up the life and times of Scrooge McDuck before the prices get out of control. Richest Duck in the World and Dream of a Lifetime are both including the complete life and times of Scrooge McDuck, uh, Scrooge McDuck Deluxe Edition. Try saying that five times fast. Somebody has me blocked or something. I can't see who it is. Comics in the GA. Who is this? Apparently, they don't like me very much, even though I worked on these books. But whatever. I'm going to reread them both tonight and try to figure it out. I got the basically what's going on. Uh, I got Richest Duck in the World signed at Megacon last year. I'm afraid as to what Carl Bark stories may be on that list. I know, yes. right? Right? As we have not gotten, uh, we have not gotten yet from the Carl Barks Disney libraries. Um, yeah, so. So, yeah, the ones considered to Inception because they have the, the Beagle Boys and they're kind of like going into yes. dreams to steal yes. stuff. So it's compared to Inception. And that was actually, that was, there was a lot of, um, again, it was a very influential story. But there was a lot of uh, backlash when Inception came out from Disney Comics fans because they're like, you ripped off Don Rosa and you didn't give mm-hmm. him credit. I think Don was even like, yeah, this, this looks familiar. You yeah. know, and it was out years and years before Inception. And the other one, the problem with it is because I guess there's like, there's like this zombie that's falling around that's cursed by a witch doctor. Yeah. So that's, that's that. um, bad. So this is, um, this is actually from the Don Rosa fan, uh, fan group on Facebook. Um, I already see many people posting get well quick wishes in response to my announcement about Vancouver. I certainly appreciate it very much. It's come from Don Rosa. He's, he's had a lot of health problems over mm-hmm. the years, you know. Uh, Ten seconds after I posted that, I received an email from one of my many publishers. So will give you something else to discuss. I wonder what other duck stories now banned. Maybe only mine, maybe not. Not no. likely. Not no. likely just yours. Oh, they're going to they're gonna go through Carl Barks and I guarantee uh, yeah, you like half, half the stories that he published. Actually, you know what's going to happen? We can't publish Scrooge McDuck stories anymore because he's a capitalist and that's bad. And that makes people feel bad. So we're going to basically ruin Scrooge McDuck because that's his whole shtick. That's his whole shtick. Yes. We're going to retire him. Um, you're never going to see him again. He's going to go the way of Song of the South. That's that's what we're going to do. He's going to he's going to be replaced with uh, Bernie the Duck, who was based on Bernie Sanders and socialism. So it's all good. <sighs> this is I don't even, I, I can't even, I can't even. And AOC the Quack, who will also be a new <laughs> character in the new uh, books. Oh my God. Uh, obviously all 12 chapters of my life of Scrooge are now banned because they can't be published without the final chapter. I won't even comment on what this will mean to the collector's market. I love how it would be read L-O dollar sign. <laughs> yeah, well, because they always start <laughs> Scrooge dollar sense. sign. It makes sense. It's just funny. <sighs> <sighs> this is bullshit. So here's the thing. Disney comics, Disney was very hands off on their comics until uh, every time Disney gets handsy, yeah. things go to shit. I'm just saying the only reason Don Rosa had the latitude he had was because he worked with uh, Egmont mm-hmm. and they basically because his story sold well, they let him do whatever the hell he wanted to do. Uh, now I could tell you that they would be like, oh, yeah, these characters are kind of off model. It doesn't look Disney enough. It, you know, that. I guarantee you that he would not be able to publish these stories now on, on, on any level. But back then, they didn't care. They really didn't care. They were like, you pay us for the license as long as you're not destroying the Disney brand. And there's a lot. Look, there's there's a lot that I'm really surprised got through on some of the Scrooge stories. Of course, this classic here, Scrooge and Goldie. Uh, let's get on with it. Between the legs. And she's like, I beg your pardon. And they're like, I'll go through the frozen woolly mammoth legs. Right. Because that wouldn't. That wouldn't fly either. But it's funny. It's a very funny. It's still joke. funny now. 
Uh, Don Rosa did not write his stories for kids. He wrote his stories for a general audience. And that's, you know, and a lot of his his inspiration were taken from movies of the 40s and 50s and that kind of humor. And it worked really well with Scrooge McDuck because that's when the character originated. And um, yeah, I, I, just, I don't even know what to say at this well, point. Well, the, prob- the problem with censoring everything um, and looking for things to be upset about is there's always been somebody that's upset about something. And it's never ending. When you, when you go down this path, um, what ha- ends up happening is you're going to end up with nothing. Because when you censor this, well, then other people are going to be offended. Well, why didn't you censor that? And it's like there's somebody is offended by everything. Somebody is probably offended by the color blue that is used in these panels. You know, oh, God, take the, you know. So what's going to happen is it's going to all be buried completely because um, it's always going to piss somebody off. Why are all the ducks white? But they, Why are they all white? How dare they? How dare they? No, so basically we're going to be living in a perpetual current year. Everything is going to be current mm-hmm. year and Disney. And again, there are people working at Disney to justify their jobs. They're just like sensitivity right. readers. You run out of stuff to, to censor. What, 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 why are you there? Yeah, exactly. So everything has to be problematic. I also want to point out that most of their comics aren't even for American audiences. They're no. for audiences overseas. Yes. And a lot of people overseas think that, you know, America's batshit. Let's be honest. They're, they think we're all just ridiculous over here. These stories weren't even really written for here. Yeah, I, I mean, look, Rosa started out publishing in the U.S. with uh, Another Rainbow mm-hmm. and uh, Gladstone. And then he moved over to Egmont. His editor went overseas and and he was able to, again, do whatever the hell he wanted to do. But he knew most of his audience was a European audience, his his comics, you know. And again, over there, like they love Rare Fox. They love right. Rare Bear. They love because there, there's there's no connection to the Song of the South movie. And even for them, and even if there was, and I think the movie is available over there, was available in Japan for a while. Even if there was, it wouldn't you know, hit the same way as it does over here because they don't have the history right. that we have. And the thing you know. is, like, you know, look at comics now with the, with the Disney comics. They're mostly Italian artists. And we know that for a fact because you were in there when they were sh- switching everything over to giving it to all the Italian artists. Yeah, and that was a problem because the Italian artists, um, oh, God, there were some ridiculous things that happened. That was when I noped out because I'm like, there is no please in these people. They want you to draw in the Italian style. And the Italian style actually is, in a lot of cases, kind of off model yeah. and more rubbery because they all look like uh, Scarpa's art. But um, I remember you had so much trouble just getting the test track cover through. I did a te- yeah, I did a test track cover for IDW. And um, for those who don't know, test track's an attraction at Walt Disney World. They were doing attraction covers, and and I put a guardrail in it because the attraction has a guardrail. And they had me take the guardrail off and we went back and forth for like a month or two over this thing or this cover. And apparently the problem was the guardrail implied that the ride was unsafe. There's a guardrail on the effing ride. There is a guardrail on the effing ride. Yes. In real life, there is a guardrail. Um, it's a car ride. So guardrail makes sense. Oh, OK. This is where it got weird. Yeah. We had to make sure that all the ducks were were buckled. Their seatbelts were buckled. But we didn't have a guardrail. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is how ridiculous standards and practices at Disney has gotten. Yeah, and then I tried having Scrooge smoking some meth in the front seat, and they also shot that down. <laughs> and um, we had a couple of hookers in the back, and they just they wouldn't they wouldn't have anything to do with it. They just you know, I, I could get through. I don't understand what the problem is. It's America, right? No, th- this doesn't surprise me at all. Like I said, I, I literally spent time, especially in the last couple of years, I worked on these books. Not with Don stuff in particular, but I do remember that there was there was an issue with the first comic. I believe it was the first in the series on the back cover. He's got a ray gun and they had to make the ray gun look like a Buzz Lightyear gun because if it was silver, like an actual gun, that was problematic. But we actually had revolvers and stuff in the same. Yeah, but you book. had to draw stuff out, though. I had. To, yeah, I did. I remember I did a Mickey story where Mickey is waving a gun at the bad guy. Because the bad guy's going to, I think if I remember correctly, the bad guy was going to off Minnie or something. This but this was, was back in the day when Mickey was badass. Yeah, Mickey was badass. But this is like from the 40s or 50s. And, and I had to take the gun out of all, because Mickey Mouse wouldn't point a gun at somebody even if they were going to blow Mickey's or Minnie's head off, right? And um, so we had to do that. And it looked ridiculous. It looked like he was like pointing at him and chastising him. Like, you better let my girlfriend go, you some bitch. You know, he didn't say some bitch, but... Because we couldn't have that either. But there were other ones, too, where, like, 
you know, Big Bad Wolf is like smoking a cigar. No, now he's got a party favor in his mouth. For no reason. Like, he's yeah. not at a party. It's like, just, <laughs> like, what the hell? So we're going back and like, we're like going back and, and editing these freaking 60, 70 year old comics. It's like, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just Disney, just, just stop. Why can't you just put a, a disclaimer on the in the in the beginning of the book like they do on movies and stuff and say, you know, these were these were done, you know, how many years ago? And they're done at a different time. Right. We, we can't separate the story to make it, you know, work. Um, so we're just putting this disclaimer here so you understand that when you watch it, um, they still can make money that way. But no, they're so busy. They're so being worried about offending their people that are looking up this shit that they're going to bury the entire thing. Um, but again, they say that and they put on a big show here. But when, you know, something needs released in China, they can, you know, Put a mask on Black yep. Panther or shrink down Finn or, you know, feel uh, near concentration. I'm sorry, re-education, re-education center. Re-education center. Um, thank the CCP. Uh, and now that Iger's back, it's going to get worse. I, I can't. Uh, they're they're going to, I guarantee you, before it's all said and done, they are going to basically end Scrooge McDuck because the entire point of Scrooge McDuck is he's kind of a capitalist anti-hero. And the people they've hired right out of college don't like capitalism. No, they're all socialist Marxist and, and Scrooge is the antithesis. Like his whole deal is I worked my way up from nothing. I came to America. I'm an immigrant. You know, I came to America and I worked my way up to become the richest duck in the world. I came from nothing and I, you know, I pulled myself up by my, my bootstraps or my spats. And no, that, you can't say that it anymore because a lot of people don't even have bootstraps. Right, right. Um, you know, because they're they're kept down automatically because of, you know, society. Yeah, so it's it's go, it's gonna be a problem. They are going to get rid of Scrooge McDuck at some point in time. I, I can almost guarantee it. Mm-hmm. And that is Or the they're gonna that. nerf him big time. Yeah, he's just gonna be like, oh, he's a kindly old duck he's who shares change. his wealth with right. everybody. He's gonna suddenly decide to open up, you know, some he's gonna give it away for socialist purposes. You know, Disney doesn't give their money away for socialism. I know. I know, um, right? Things like that, but you know. All right, so let's wrap this one up. Mm-hmm. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.